The way I met her is an interesting story. I went to work as a counselor at a summer camp. I also knew this blonde who was also a counselor, and we became friends. And uh, then we all left camp. Nobody was in touch with anybody. But one day, I'm driving down Madison Avenue, because I used to drive to work every day, and now I'm fairly successful. I'm an art director of a large PR firm. And there is this blonde in a bright red convertible, and she's going uptown. So this whole thing only takes a few seconds, but as I, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I've got a con convertible, and as I pass by with the top down, her top is down, I say, hey, how you doing? You're looking great. And she says to me, you're looking great also. Boy, you, you look terrific. And I'm saying, boy, she gave me such a big friendly hello. I'm gonna make a U-turn and follow her. And uh, I couldn't, the traffic being what it was. So I'm driving home and I'm thinking, she must know me. She was so friendly. You know, so I'm trying to think of who it was. And finally I realize who I think it is. It's that blonde I had met seven, eight years ago in summer camp counselor. So I call her up the next morning, and I'm very casual. After all, we had just seen each other the day before, and we get fall immediately into this conversation of what happened to so-and-so, what happened to so-and-so, what happened to that couple, what, and, and we make a date to meet for dinner the following week. But just before I hang up the phone, I say to her, by the way, where'd you get that red convertible, and when'd you learn to drive? And she says, I don't have a red convertible. I don't drive. Anyway, that was the start of the, that relationship. <laughs>